Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. I need to have the internet out here in my studio space, which is about 200 feet away from my house. So to do that, I'm going to use the Adelov point-to-point -point wireless bridge. This will connect to the outside of my studio space and the outside of my top shop, and I'll be able to extend my Wi-Fi out here without having to run any kind of cables. So let's go ahead and open this box and get this unit installed. Let's open up this box here and see what comes in this package. Have a little user manual for the wireless bridge, a couple of hose clamps. We've got two ethernet cables. Comes with two PoE, which we will connect those ethernet cables to, to run this outside. And this will also power up the unit. It has two of those. And then we actually have the two receiver transmitter here. And then the secondary box actually has the mounting brackets. So let's open that up here. Another installation little pamphlet. A couple of more hose clamps. And then two mounting brackets that look like this right here. I just browsed through the instruction booklet and it seems to be well written, has good information in there. So the first thing we wanna do is get this set up. I'm gonna do a test run before I actually get this installed permanently. Um, so back here on the back, you can pop the little case out and it has uh, different settings in here. So there is a master and slave version uh, so the switch position will determine that. We'll get to that in a minute. It has a reset button. It has a uh, 100 megabit per second uh, LAN, and it has a uh, gigabit LAN right there. And then it also has the 12 volt DC in, um, which we're gonna be using the PoE. So basically we will plug this up to a wall outlet, and then that's going to power this unit through the uh, ethernet cable. So we won't have to have that dedicated uh, 12 volt plug right there. But say you were gonna be using uh, maybe a solar panel with a battery, you could uh, use that instead. All right, so uh, these should be pretty simple to get plugged up and working here. Um, these cables, let's see how long they are. This will go from the uh, unit here to the PoE. So that's how long you have to get to a, um, a power plug. And then from there, you can go out with a longer cable to connect into here. Um, so I've got, for instance, this one right here is about seven foot. I have the PoE power adapter. So the first thing I want to do is connect the LAN side, which is written here on the front, to the wireless router. And then I've got the other side, the PoE side, which is going to be my longer cable. And that is going to connect to the uh, wireless bridge here. So let me go ahead and plug this up to the power supply. Let me go ahead and plug this up to the 1000. So if you look on the sticker here, you see the LAN POE 1000M. Plug that up and we will start getting power into here. Now I've got the switch set to A, which means this is gonna be the primary unit. Now it can take up to two minutes for this to initialize, but as you can see, it is starting to get power up in here. It's got a one right there. While I'm waiting for the primary unit to power on, about two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the second unit here. So just pull the cover off of the back, and then I'm going to connect the uh, provided yellow ethernet cable to the PoE on here. And then this other side is gonna go into the gigabit side here. Now one thing I have to make sure, hopefully you'll be able to see it in here, there is a switch right here that does A or B. So currently this one is set to B and the one up top is set to A. So this is going to be the uh, receiving end here. All right, and also right here on the inside of the box, it has 100 over here or 1,000 over here. So this is going to be the one we're gonna use for the 1,000. Plug that right there. And simply for testing purposes, I'm going to plug this up here so that we can get some line to sight. All right, we've got that light turning on there. 
and it looks like this is powering on up under here. Once again, it can take a bit of time for this to uh, fully initialize. Now that both units have power, I'm gonna use the reset button over here to scroll through until I find a letter. So let's go to C. All right, there's C. Let's go match that with the lower unit. I've got the lower unit. I'm going to do the same where I scroll through until I find the letter C. There we go, and now they are matching. Both units have been set to C, and the power is on. And as you can see this little bar here, it has full strength on the wireless LAN. Now the only device I could find to uh, test out this unit was this really old miniature laptop that has the ethernet port. I'm gonna have to get a wireless router for this unit that will do uh, 100 megabit. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug this up to the computer using a uh, Cat5 cable, and we will see if this is going to turn on. Plug one end of the ethernet up to this port right here, and then the other end is gonna go over to the laptop. I just saw the display said it had a uh, connection. Let's press the internet browser here and see if I can find uh, Google. All right, there we go. The internet is now connected. The distance is somewhere around 150 to 200 feet from this building right here down to this one. And so the strength is nice and strong. I think even with the trees in the summertime, there won't be any issues getting the internet down here. Now I'm going to be installing this unit officially whenever I have my larger shop built back over here. And so for now, I'm going to disconnect this, but I will go ahead and purchase the required uh, internet cables and also get the um, Wi-Fi router for this unit. Now when it comes to mounting this to the side of your building or to a pole, the included bracket here has just a pole on this side, and this side actually has two different things. You can adjust these thumb screws here to go up or down as needed, but also there is this little metal plate that has kind of a U shape on it. That can be removed so that you can mount this directly flat onto a building, or you can use this for a pole and it will keep it from sliding around. Um, so to get that off of there, there is a um, screw you'd have to unscrew right in there. Now, as far as getting the actual bridge attached, let's see, I'm gonna use this here. The pole itself has these smaller hose clamps, which will go in through here and attach to this pole. And then if you were going to attach this to a pole, uh, the, uh, a support pole here, the bigger hose clamps would go through those holes right there around that hole. So. They basically designed this to be used with hose clamps, um, but you can remove this back plate and screw this into the side of a building, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing whenever I get this uh, permanently installed. And then I'll use these smaller hose clamps to just keep this around the pole here. Like that right there. The Adelov point-to-point -point wireless bridge is pretty simple to install. So basically, you just take your PoE, or power device, and you take your longer cable and you plug it up to the PoE, and that is gonna go straight to your wireless bridge and it will power the unit on. And then you take your cable that's gonna go from your router to the uh, PoE, and that goes into the LAN cable here, and that's just going to uh, bring your internet to this unit. Um, and as far as getting these two connected, very easy. Just match to the channels and uh, you have to have your original Wi-Fi or internet source to have the A switch and then this one has the B switch. Now this unit does only do 100 megabit. So if you need a faster unit, this one is not going to cover it. Um, but for bringing internet out to a barn or an outbuilding, should be good enough here on uh, this unit. So I'm gonna mostly be running some uh, basic CNC software out here and it won't be uh, anything over that 100 megabit for getting stuff into my computer. 
Well, if you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. I will have a link to this product in the description down below for you to check out. It's very simple and straightforward and brings internet uh, quite a long distance if you need it. All right, I'm Seth with Tool Second Gear, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.